Hello everyone, Kevin here. Last year I did an episode all about impeachment. I told of the time Oklahoma impeached and removed two sitting governors. I briefly went over what it took to impeach a president on a federal level. <laughs> My, how the news catches up with you at times. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. So if you've been anywhere near a news source within the last few weeks, you know that things are getting serious over in Washington, D.C. The U.S. House of Representatives have started a formal impeachment inquiry of President Donald Trump. A quick review of impeachment. First off, impeachment by the House of Representatives is not the removal from office. It's similar to an indictment in criminal law. Formal charges are brought forth. It does not mean the removal from office, it's the start of the process. The removal is by trial in the Senate. Here's how impeachment is defined by the U.S. Constitution. In Article 1, that's all about the legislative branch, Section 2, the House of Representatives shall have sole power of impeachment. In Section 3, the Senate shall have the sole power to try all impeachments. When sitting for that purpose, they shall be on oath or affirmation. When the President of the United States is tried, the Chief Justice shall provide, and no person shall be convicted without the concurrence of two-thirds of the members present. Judgment in cases of impeachment shall not extend further than to removal from office and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. But the party convicted shall nevertheless be liable and subject to indictment, trial, judgment, and punishment according to law. Now in Article 2, that's about the executive branch, it's in Section 4, it says, the President, Vice President, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. That's it. That's all it says in the U.S. Constitution about impeachment. So what's going on right now is just an inquiry. The various House committees are gathering evidence to bring to the full House to vote on impeachment. It only takes a simple majority for impeachment to pass. When it gets to the Senate, there'll be a big old trial. <laughs> Evidence will be presented and a defense will be given and a vote of two thirds must be reached to convict and remove from office. If every senator is present, that means 67 must vote to convict. That's quite a heavy lift. No sitting president has been removed from office by impeachment. So, how did we get here? It seems there have been calls for the impeachment of President Donald Trump almost from the moment he began his term. A lot of that was just talk and hyperbole. In my lifetime, I've heard people say that about many presidents or presidential nominees. I can remember talk of impeachment for Richard Nixon when I was a very young kid then, <laughs> uh, President Ronald Reagan, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and Barack Obama. Bill Clinton was the only one that it actually happened to, and that was because he lied about getting a blowjob. I'm not joking about that. That's what they impeached him on. Hmm. Impeachment is a political process. It takes a certain amount of political will to make it happen. Of course, there has to be evidence to back up impeachment, but it's still all politics. In the case of President Donald Trump, it's been a near constant stream of scandal after scandal. From political rivals and allies, I might add, of the president, there have been accusations, I repeat, accusations, of emolument clause violations by profiting off his office, nepotism, racism, sexism, paying off porn stars, repeatedly lying about even the little things, general incompetence and obstruction of justice, to actually working with Russia to swing a U.S. election. Again, that's just the accusations. All of that would bring one's political rivals to bid for a case of impeachment. So what was the last straw? A phone call. 
In August, a whistleblower filed a report with the Inspector General for National Intelligence regarding a call by President Trump to Ukrainian President Zelensky and a handling of that call afterward. In this call, President Trump repeatedly tried to get the Ukrainian president to open an investigation into former vice president and now presidential candidate Joe Biden and his son Hunter Biden, all while keeping funds for Ukraine on hold in what appears to be a quid pro quo. Basically, if you do this for me, I'll give you the funds. After this call took place, the staff took the records of this call and placed them in a classified database in what appears to be a cover-up. After more information and news about this came out, more and more people agreed it was time to begin impeachment. So on September 24th, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi announced a formal impeachment inquiry of the president. Since then, it's been a steady flow of discovery after discovery of who was involved and what did they know. Implicated so far has been the president himself, his personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, Attorney General William Barr, and just recently, Vice President Mike Pence, and many more government officials. Now, I've just given you the broad strokes of what's going on. More news is dropping as I'm recording this. It's almost hard to keep up. In fact, I delayed this episode a week just so I could get caught up. In the show notes, I'll be providing links to as much information as I can find, and I would encourage you to go look through it. Right now, it's just an inquiry, an investigation. Impeachment might not even reach the House floor, but it likely will, <laughs> and soon. For the next few months, political tensions will rise. Lines are being drawn and sides taken. If what I heard on the Sunday talk shows are any indication, it's going to be a fun time in the land of politics. If impeachment happens, I'll definitely be doing another episode about this. Again, I encourage everyone to read up on what's going on and to make up your own mind about it. Again, I'll have links to all of this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. I hope everyone is doing well on this windy October day. <laughs> Hopefully the wind noise isn't bothering this recording too much. It is really loud out there. <laughs> I hope you got something out of this episode, or at least now have an idea of what's going on in D.C. right now. Uh, when it comes to doing these political episodes, I try to keep my opinion out of it and just give you the facts. I have plenty of other sources where I express my opinion on politics, and I'm fairly open about it. However, when it comes to this impeachment inquiry, I'm in full agreement with you. There should be an investigation. In fact, it's the legislative branch's job to check the executive, and that's what they're doing. If you want to know more about my thoughts on Donald Trump and politics in general, just follow me on Mastodon. I have links in the show notes. Um, in other things, I hope to get back into a weekly schedule again. Please bear with me as I attempt this. I will be doing some little bonus episodes from time to time, so hopefully you'll enjoy those. And, uh, well, that's about it for now. I hope you have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you could purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the web ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.